Hello engineers, welcome to Engineer Brandon's Tools. In this video, I am going to show you how to control a DC motor using an Arduino Uno. So, the two methods in which a DC motor is being controlled using an Arduino is by using an H bridge and also by using an L293D. In this video, we are going to focus on the H bridge. So, an H bridge is simply a connection of fill effect transistors with diode connected between their source and their drain and a 12 volt power supply to power the DC motor. So in order for this motor to rotate in the clockwise direction, transistor Q1 is going to be turned on and transistor Q4 is going to be turned on so as current to flow through the DC motor to the ground. For the DC motor to rotate in the anti-clockwise direction, Q3 and Q2 are going to be turned on so as current to flow through the DC motor to the ground in order to make it to turn in the anti-clockwise direction. Never you turn on Q1 and Q2 or Q3 and Q4 at the same time. This will cause a short circuit and this will destroy your DC motor. So we are going to write our code on the Arduino IDE. So we have the Arduino IDE. So we're going to name the pins which are connected to our Arduino. So I'm going to call Q1 connected to pin 13. So we have Q1 connected to pin 13. Q2 connected to pin 12. Q4 connected to pin 11. And I have Q3 connected to pin 10. So we go to our setup loop, setup function I mean. So I'm going to give the pin mode of the various pins which are the output. So Q1 is going to be set as output. So I'm going to copy this and paste. So all the pins are output. So Q1, Q2, Q3 and Q4 are all output. So I'm going to write my code in the loop function. So firstly, we're going to make the motor to rotate in a clockwise direction for a period of 5 seconds. Then later, we're going to make it to rotate in the anti-clockwise direction for a period of 5 seconds. In order to make it rotate in the clockwise direction, we're going to turn on Q1 and Q4 and turn off Q3 and Q2. So in order to do that, turning on Q1 and Q4. Sorry, digital right. Q1, you set it to high in order to turn it on. Equally, Q4 is going to be turned on. Q3 and Q2 should be turned off. So I have Q3 low and Q2 low. So you should delay for a period of 5 seconds. Delay 5000 milliseconds. So that is for the clockwise rotation. Then for the anti-clockwise rotation, we're going to turn off Q1 and Q4 and turn on Q3 and Q2. So we're simply going to copy this and paste. So we're going to turn off Q1 and Q4. So I'll put here Q1, Q4 and we're going to turn on Q3 and Q2. Q3, Q2. So we save our code and we compile it. So we generate our hex file, go to sketch, export compile binary. So that is done with the code. We're going to load the code to our Arduino edit properties. So program file. So here is it. It's in. So both of them, both the Proteus project and the Arduino code are in the same folder. That's why it's easy to find it. So here we have with hbrid indostandard.hex. So we double click and we press OK. 
So let us run our simulation. So we notice that our motor has turned on and Q1 and Q4 are on so the motor rotates in the clockwise direction. It's going to rotate for a period of 5 seconds. Then after the 5 seconds, it rotates in the anti-clockwise direction for a period of 5 seconds again. Then after that, it's going to rotate back in the clockwise direction for 5 seconds. So I have a test for you. So you're going to include a switch on the Arduino on any digital pin of your choice. So I would like that you should include a switch in such a way that whenever the switch is being pressed, it should rotate in a clockwise direction. When the switch is being released, it should rotate in the anti-clockwise direction. So I hope you have done the assignment. So let us do it together. So I will need a switch and a power supply. I will need a resistor, a pull down resistor. So I'm going to connect the switch. So I'm going to use I'm going to use pin 7 of my Arduino. So I'm going to use a 5 volts power supply plus 5 volts. So we're going to write our code, we're going to modify our present code which we have actually. So we notice that we have our input connected to pin 7. So we're going to give our input to pin 7. So int input 7 and we're gonna give the pin mode. So pin mode input is an input. Don't worry about this input name I just gave. You can use any name to declare your variables. So here, in order for it to rotate in a clockwise, the switch should be pressed. So if the switch is pressed, a 5 volt voltage is going to be sent to the pin. So it's going to be considered as high. So in order to read our digital pin, we're going to use digital read. So we're going to say digital read input. We're going to say if if digital read of our input is equals to high then we should perform the given task below so we're going to indent so if digital read of our input pin is high you should rotate in the clockwise direction else you should rotate in the anti-clockwise direction So we're not going to need this delay, we're not going to need this delay anymore. So it should rotate in the clockwise direction forever and here it should rotate in the anti-clockwise direction forever. So we're going to compile our code. So we're going to run our simulation. So we notice that the input pin has not been pressed. So the motor is rotating in the anti-clockwise direction. If we press our input pin, the motor rotates in the clockwise direction. So that is it. In the next video, I'm going to show you how to control a DC motor using an L293D. Thank you for watching my video. Please hit the subscribe button and the like button if and only if you like the video. Thank you.